Have you ever wondered why men have Adam's apples? Quite a curious question, isn't it? Today we're stepping into the fascinating world of the human body, specifically focusing on some intriguing facts about the male body that you might not have known. Our first stop is the neck, home to a prominent feature in males, the Adam's apple. Now you might be asking yourself, why do men have this protrusion on their throats? Well, the answer lies in the larynx, or the voice box. This crucial organ is responsible for producing sound, allowing us to communicate. However, its size isn't the same in everyone. Around the time of puberty, testosterone starts to kick in, and one of its effects is the enlargement of the larynx. This is more pronounced in males, leading to a larger voice box. As the larynx grows, it tilts forward, creating a noticeable bump on the neck, the Adam's apple. But why is it called an Adam's apple? This term is steeped in biblical lore. It's believed to originate from the story of Adam and Eve, where Adam allegedly got a piece of the forbidden fruit stuck in his throat. While this is an interesting tale, the scientific explanation is a bit less mystical and a lot more biological. So, what's the purpose of the Adam's apple, aside from making teenage boys' voices crack? Well, it serves a couple of significant functions. Firstly, it protects the vocal cords, which are essential for speech. Secondly, it's a sign of maturity in males. As the larynx grows during puberty, it not only causes the voice to deepen but also signals the onset of adulthood. In essence, the Adam's apple is more than just a random lump on a man's neck. It's a fascinating testament to the intricate workings of the human body and the significant role hormones play in our development. So the Adam's apple isn't just a random lump, it's a sign of maturity in males. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel more intriguing facts about the male body in our upcoming scenes. Did you know that the male brain is about 10% larger than the female brain? Yes, you heard it right. But before you jump to any conclusions, let's delve a little deeper into this fascinating fact. The male brain on average indeed does tip the scales a bit more. However, it's crucial to note that this doesn't mean that males are inherently smarter or more capable. Quite the contrary. The size difference between the male and female brain is largely due to the generally larger body size and muscle mass in males. So, are we saying that the size of the brain has nothing to do with intelligence? Absolutely. Take for instance, the sperm whale. It has the largest brain of any creature on Earth, weighing in at a whopping 20 pounds. Yet, it's not solving complex algebraic equations or pondering existential questions. The brain size is not an indicator of its processing power or intellectual prowess. Instead, it's the number and complexity of the neurons and the vast network of connections between them that truly count. Interestingly, despite the size difference, both male and female brains function almost identically. This is because the basic structure and composition of the brain remain the same across genders. The neurons communicate in the same way, the neurotransmitters work in the same manner, and the brain regions carry out similar functions. However, it's worth mentioning that there are subtle differences in how the brain processes information and responds to stimuli, which can be attributed to various factors, including hormones and societal conditioning. But these variations don't make one gender superior or inferior to the other. They simply make us unique, contributing to the rich tapestry of human diversity. So, the next time you hear about the size difference between the male and female brain, remember that it's not a competition. It's just another example of the myriad ways in which nature likes to mix things up, keeping things interesting and diverse. After all, when it comes to the brain, size doesn't always matter. Ever wondered why men are generally stronger than women? It's not just about the gym workouts or the protein shakes. The answer lies within, in a hormone known as testosterone. This vital hormone, primarily produced in the male testes, plays a crucial role in shaping what we recognize as masculine traits. Testosterone, often dubbed the male hormone, is responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristics in men. During puberty, the surge of testosterone triggers a myriad of changes, the voice deepens, facial and body hair sprout, and there's a significant growth spurt. But that's not all. An essential function of testosterone is its contribution to increased muscle and bone mass. This hormone stimulates the growth of muscle proteins, leading to the development of larger, stronger muscles. It also aids in the creation of red blood cells, which transport oxygen to these growing muscles, providing the energy needed for physical activity. As for the bones, testosterone promotes bone mineral density, strengthening the skeletal structure. This is why men typically have denser, stronger bones than women. It's also why men are less prone to osteoporosis, 
a condition where bones become brittle and fragile. But testosterone doesn't just flex its power in physical strength and growth, it also impacts mood, libido, and cognitive functions. Low levels of testosterone have been linked to mood swings, reduced sex drive, and cognitive decline. So, maintaining a healthy testosterone level is vital for overall health and well-being. However, it's important to note that while testosterone contributes to these physical characteristics, it's not the sole determinant of strength or masculinity. Other factors such as genetics, diet, and exercise also play a significant role. So, next time you marvel at the physical strength of men, know that it's not just about the brawn. It's a complex interplay of hormones, most notably testosterone, working behind the scenes. And that's what makes the human body, particularly the male body, a fascinating piece of biological machinery. So, testosterone is the secret behind the physical strength of men. But remember, it's just one piece of the intricate puzzle that is the male body. Why do some men start losing their hair at a young age? A question that has perplexed both the bald and the blessed for centuries. The answer, as it turns out, lies in the realm of genetics and hormones. The phenomenon of male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia, if we're being scientific, is no mystery to the medical world. It's a common condition that affects approximately half the male population by the age of 50. While it's easy to attribute this to aging, the root cause is a little more complex. You see, male pattern baldness is primarily due to a combination of genetics and the male hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short. This formidable hormone is a derivative of testosterone, the hormone responsible for developing male characteristics. As men age, their bodies convert more testosterone into DHT, leading to higher levels of this hormone in their system. Now here's where it gets interesting. DHT has a peculiar effect on hair follicles. It causes them to shrink. Over time, the hair follicles become so small that they can no longer produce new hair, leading to the thinning or complete loss of hair. This isn't an overnight process but rather a gradual one that occurs over several years. However, the susceptibility of hair follicles to DHT is determined by our genes. Some men are genetically predisposed to have hair follicles that are more sensitive to DHT. This is why you might see some men in their 20s with receding hairlines, while others maintain a full head of hair well into their golden years. So, if you're a man who's noticed a few extra hairs on your pillow, don't panic. It's not necessarily a sign of aging. It could just be your genes playing their part. After all, baldness is not a disease. It's a natural process that a significant portion of the male population experiences. Hair loss in men isn't always a sign of aging. Sometimes it's just in their genes. Now that we've learned some intriguing facts about the male body, let's summarize the most surprising ones. We've delved into the enigmatic world of the male body uncovering the mysteries that make it so unique. One of the most surprising facts we've discovered is the purpose of the Adam's apple. This prominent feature in the male neck isn't just there for show, it's actually a protective shield for the voice box, or larynx, and it plays a crucial role in deepening the voice during puberty. The Adam's apple is a testament to the intricate design of the human body and its commitment to protect even the most delicate of structures. Then, there's the size difference between male and female brains. Despite the popular belief, size doesn't equate to intelligence or capability. The male brain is generally larger, but this is mostly due to the physical size difference between men and women. In fact, when it comes to brain function, it's not about size but about the connectivity between different parts of the brain. And let's not forget the potent power of testosterone. This hormone is a major player in the male body, influencing everything from muscle growth to mood. It's testosterone that gives men their characteristic physical traits, and it even plays a part in the health of the heart and bones. Finally, we unraveled the mystery of male pattern baldness. This common phenomenon is not simply a result of aging, but heavily influenced by genetics and hormones. It's a complex interplay of factors that leads to the thinning and eventual loss of hair in men. Each of these facts paints a picture of the male body as a deeply complex and finely tuned machine, full of surprises and intricate details. The more we learn the more we realize how much there is still to discover. The male body is indeed a fascinating subject full of surprises and intricate details.